Generating 360 Panorama in 2020 Fusion To generate a 360 panorama, the first step, we need to be on the perspective view. You can change your view to perspective by going to the view tab and then click on perspective. The next thing we need to generate 360 panorama are viewpoints. We will require a minimum of one viewpoint. To add or save viewpoints, go to the view tab and click on save view. This will now add a viewpoint to the navigation view palette. If you require, you can save multiple viewpoints by changing your position and then click on save view. For this example, I will be creating three viewpoints. Once you have saved your viewpoints, go to the view tab and click on publish. This will now bring the configure 360 panorama window. Select the viewpoints you would like to use in your 360 panorama. And then select the render settings. For this example, I will be selecting the presentation render. If you have provided the customer's email address and the salesperson's email address, Fusion can send an automated email to the enabled email addresses with a link to the generated 360 panorama upon completion. Once you have selected your preferred options, click OK to start generating your 360 panorama. Please note that the amount of time 2020 Fusion takes to render the 360 panorama depends upon factors like the size of your room, the number of viewpoints used, and the render settings. Once the 360 panorama has been generated, you should see the 360 panorama preview window. Please note if you are generating the 360 panorama as a background process, the preview window shall not be available for you. Once you have previewed your 360 panorama, click publish to publish your 360 panorama. Once the 360 panorama has been published, you will see a window notifying you the same. You can view your 360 panoramas by going to the 360 panorama gallery. Click on the 360 panorama you wish to view. This will launch the 360 panorama in your default web browser. You can use the navigation panel to navigate through the 360 panorama. Click previous or next button to view previous or next viewpoint. Or you can use the view selector to select your viewpoint. The left and right arrow is to view left or right. The up and down arrow is to view up or down. The plus button is to zoom in and the minus button is to zoom out. The auto rotation button will auto navigate into your 360 panorama. You can also view your 360 panorama in VR mode on a supported VR headset. You can enable VR mode by clicking on the VR icon. You can also view your 360 panorama in full screen mode. To hide the navigation panel, click on the hide icon. You can also navigate your 360 panorama with your computer mouse. Press and hold the left mouse button and then move your mouse up and down or left and right. You can zoom in or zoom out by scrolling in or out. You can change your viewpoints by clicking on the crosshair. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.